Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Willis, the proud principal at East Valleyfield Elementary School. I am here today with a read aloud from a new book that I just received. It's by someone who I admire very much, Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor. And the book is illustrated by Rafael Lopez. And the book is called Just Ask, Be Different, Be Brave, Be You. Um, so the start of this book has a letter to all of the readers and I'm gonna read to you first. It says, a letter to readers. I was born on June 25th, 1954, and in 1961, when I was seven years old, I was diagnosed with juvenile diabetes. To take care of myself, I had to do things other kids did not. Sometimes I felt different. When kids saw me giving myself a needle shot of insulin, my medicine, I knew they were curious about what I was doing, but they never asked me, my parents, or my teachers about it. I also often felt they thought I was doing something wrong. As I grew older, I realized that there are many ways to be, that I was not alone in feeling different. I wanted to write this book to explain how differences make us stronger in a good way. Like my experiences with diabetes, the challenges some kids face can be very hard and sometimes frustrating. Some of us have conditions that require medicines or tools to manage things that other kids never have to deal with. Some of our difficulties are not even visible to others, but they make us feel different and we may do things that others don't understand. Yet, all of these challenges often give us strength that others can't imagine. I hope by seeing yourself or your friends in this story, you will understand that we're all different and you will find that notion comforting and empowering. I hope too that you will recognize what we have in common. Instead of fearing our differences or ignoring them, we can shed light on them and explore them together. If you ever wonder why someone is doing something different from other kids, just ask. And that's from Sonia Sotomayor. So we're gonna start the story now. Let's see, hopefully you can see these pictures. There we go. Hi, I'm Sonia. My friends and I are planning a garden. Gardens are magical places. Thousands of plants bloom together, but every flower, every berry, and every leaf is different. Each has a different smell, different color, different shape, and different purpose. Some flowers need lots of sunlight. Others thrive in the shade. Some have to be trimmed regularly, while others are better off left alone. Some trees and flowers are more fragile, and others are more hardy. Kids are all different, too. Some of us are in a hurry, and others take more time. Some of us seem shy and quiet, while others are chatty and loud. Some of our differences are easy to spot. Others take longer to notice. Each of us grows in our own way. So if you are curious about other kids, just ask. Not everyone is comfortable answering questions about themselves, but I don't mind. What am I doing? Several times a day, I prick my finger to measure the sugar in my blood, and I give myself shots of medicine called insulin. I do this because I have diabetes and my body doesn't make insulin naturally like other people's. Even though this can sometimes hurt, I gather all of my courage to do it to be healthy. Do you ever need to take medicine to be healthy? I do. My name is Raphael and I have asthma, which means I sometimes have trouble breathing. When that happens, I take a break and use an inhaler with medicine to make my breathing easier. Quiet time helps me slow down and catch my breath. My inhaler is like a tool to help my body. Do you use a tool to help your body? I'm Anthony and I use the wheelchair to get around. Even though I can't run with my legs, I can go super fast. How do you get from place to place? My name is Madison and my guide dog Lucky helps me get places safely because I'm blind. My friend Arturo is blind too. He uses a cane to get around. Even though we can't see, we strengthen our other senses and notice lots of details others may miss. We can hear with our ears, smell with our noses, and feel with our hands. How do you use your senses? I'm Vijay. I learn about the world differently because I can see, but I can't hear. I'm deaf. Most of the time, I communicate with people using my face and hands through sign language. It's cool to know another language. I also love reading and writing. What about you? 
I'm Bianca and I have dyslexia, so I have to work really hard and take my time when I am reading and writing words. Sometimes I use computer programs to help me. I love learning by doing things. My imagination is full of ideas and I'm very good at making art from the pictures I see in my head. Are you really good at something? I'm great at dinosaurs. I know all about them. I'm Jordan and I have autism. Organizing and counting all of my toy dinosaurs again and again makes me feel calm. My classmate Tiana also has autism, but it's different for her. She doesn't talk, but I like to talk. I especially like to talk about dinosaurs. What do you like to talk about? For me, listening comes more easily than talking, and I'm a really good listener. My name is An, and I speak with a stutter, so I sometimes repeat a word or get stuck when I try to say it. It may take me a little longer to express myself, and sometimes I'm too shy to talk, but I understand everything that's going on. Do you ever wonder if people understand you? I do. My name is Julia. Sometimes I wiggle or make sounds that I can't control because I have Tourette's syndrome. People may look at me funny because they think I am not paying attention or just acting out, but it's not true. I am listening. I don't always like having to explain. It frustrates me, but it helps when I tell people that it's just what my body does. Do you ever feel frustrated? My name is Manuel and I have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. It is also called ADHD. I can get frustrated when I really feel the need to move around even though I'm supposed to sit still. When my teachers and friends are patient with me, if I forget something or get distracted, I can get myself back on track. What's helpful to you? I'm Nolan. It's helpful to me when the food I eat has a clear label that says it is nut free because I'm allergic to nuts. They can make me so sick that I would have to go to the hospital if I ate any, even by accident. So I always tell people about my allergy and ask if any food has nut ingredients. Speaking up keeps me healthy. How do you use your voice? I love to sing and I love to talk. I love to make new friends and be included. I am Grace. I was born with Down syndrome. Kids like me with Down syndrome have an extra building block called a chromosome in our bodies, but we are all different from each other too. I can do almost anything any other kid can do, though learning new things can take some time. One way I learn is to ask questions. What helps you learn? It's me, Sonia again. I ask questions too. When something seems different or new, I just ask my parents or my teachers and they help me to understand, especially if my friends don't feel ready to explain. This is what I've learned. Imagine if all of the plants in this garden were exactly the same. Like what if we only could grow peas? That would mean no strawberries or cucumbers or carrots. It might also mean no trees or roses or sunflowers. Just like in our garden, all the ways we are different make our neighborhood, our whole world really, more interesting and fun. And just like all of these plants, each of us has unique powers to share with the world and make it more interesting and richer. What will you do with your powers? Isn't that an awesome book? So this is a new, um, a new read that I just uh, picked up. Um, and I have a few others that I just ordered that I'll be reading to you guys next week. So I hope you enjoyed and that you'll tune in next time.